We recently made a video about some of the most iconic sports anime. The concept was well received, but there are way too many notable sports anime to do just five. So with that in mind, we thought it would be a good idea to talk about some other sports anime that are also important to the sports anime genre. As we mentioned before, there is a great amount of sports anime out there. Some of them even transcended the popularity of the sport itself. So with that in mind, we decided to do one anime per sport. Each pick in this video is unique in their own way, especially with their own stories to tell. So with Without further ado, let's focus on some more iconic and culturally recognizable sports anime. To start this off, let's talk about the true GOAT of basketball anime, Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk centers around Hamamichi Sakuragi, a no-good delinquent who is quick to start fights. Hanamichi, being very unpopular with girls, has been rejected by them 50 times. Damn! Even with all that, Hanamichi is still going forward and trying to pursue the girl of his dreams, Haruko, and he's very much happy to do whatever he can to get close to her. Haruko, who recognizes Hanamichi's athleticism, introduces him to the Shohoku basketball team. Hanamichi was reluctant to join the team at first because he had no previous background in any sports and thought that basketball was a game for losers. Outside of that, Hanamichi is very immature and hot-tempered and he really isn't a coachable person. He's not very much an athlete in the sense of being able to take orders and receive feedback, but his athletic traits are so good that Haruko is desperate to recruit him to the team. With all that being said, Hanamichi still decides to join the Shohoku team in hopes of impressing Haruko. From here, we get to meet more of the team and Sakuragi's bitter rival, Kaede Rukawa, the star rookie and a girl magnet. Kaede Rukawa is such a chad. He's the perfect MC in the sense of a sports anime. He's good looking. He's great at the sport. Everybody loves him besides Hanamichi. He can't stand his guts. We also get to meet Mitsui, a former junior MVP, similar to Rukawa. Very talented. We also get to meet Roita Miyagi, a very short, fast player who also joins their team in hopes to sparking the team captain Akagi's dream of competing in the national championships. Slam Dunk is a great story of Mitzvahs coming together and working hard for their common goal. It's a great story of development, teamwork, and the concept of Slam Dunk itself was a major hit in society. The anime itself is bigger than just the show. It's been infecting so many people in Japan. There's even a new movie that just came out not too long ago about Slam Dunk. The popularity of Slam Dunk is still ongoing. It truly is the GOAT of basketball anime. Yeah, if you've watched other basketball anime such as Furuko no Basket or maybe Ahido no Soda, definitely go give Slam Dunk dunk a chance. I think it'll be worth your time. With that, let's move on to our second pick. Another classic, The Prince of Tennis. Mara Mara Dane, or you still have a ways to go. This phrase was said very often by the MC of the next anime on our list. The GOAT of tennis anime. The Prince of Tennis. The series revolves around a young tennis prodigy named Roma Echizen. He moves back to Japan in order to attend Seigaku, a private middle school famous for its strong tennis team. After proving his superior ability in tennis during the ranking matches, Echizen becomes a regular in the team. From here, we learn from Coach Ryuzaki that Ryoma had won four tennis tournaments back in America and was known as the Prince of Tennis. We also learn that Ryoma is a natural prodigy. We learn that his father was also a legendary player who abruptly retired from professional tennis. Despite being one of the best upcoming talents, his father decided to walk away from the sport. Edgerson is also joined alongside a wonderful cast slash teammates that all possess special abilities in tennis that are incredible to see. We get to see Seigaku on their journey as they lose and struggle through many matches in the hands of other tennis teams, but they also develop unlikely friendships with the same teams after their matches. What's great about Prince of Tennis is, even though it's an older anime, they still have a lot of great animation scenes in the sense of adding a little twist, kind of like Kirk on a Basket, where they make it a little bit supernatural, but overall, Prince of Tennis is a great show to watch. Prince of Tennis is easily one of the most iconic sports anime in the genre. When thinking of another tennis anime to compare to its caliber, there's really nothing in the market that rivals it. It's also a good anime to get into if you've never watched this sports anime before, as the plot is pretty easy to follow. With that being said, consider giving Prince of Tennis a shot if you haven't watched it yet. There are a ton of comedic elements, competitive match moments, and it'll easily get you hooked. The world of Prince of Tennis is very captivating, so if you haven't watched Prince of Tennis, definitely go give it a shot. Moving on, let's talk about another football anime. Captain Tsubasa. The story of Captain Tsubasa follows an 11-year-old named Tsubasa. He started playing soccer at a very young age, and while it was mostly a recreational sport for him and his friends, he really started to develop an obsession with it. In order to pursue his dream to the best of his elementary school abilities, Tsubasa moves with his mother to Nankatsu City, which is well known for its excellent elementary school soccer teams. But although he was easily the best in his old town, Nankatsu has a lot more competition, and he will need all of his skill and talent in order to stand out from this new crowd. Captain Tsubasa is a great story about Tsubasa overcoming a lot of his rivals and also making a lot of new friends along the way. And we also get to see him accomplish his dreams. It's another anime where you really get 
get attached to the main character and you just want him to achieve all his dreams and goals, you really start rooting for him at a really fast rate. And if you haven't watched Captain Tsubasa, it is one of those older animes as well, but it really does a great job in keeping you synced in. Definitely give Captain Tsubasa a chance if you've seen anime like Lulok, Aoishi, any other football-based anime. You might want to add this to your arsenal as well. It's definitely one of the OGs when it comes to football anime. If we're talking about iconic animes, we have to mention this one because it's just up there and I can't say enough about it. Moving forward, let's talk about another anime from the boxing anime genre. And the anime we're talking about in particular is Megalobox. Now, Megalobox was created in commemoration of the 50th anniversary of the boxing manga Ashita no Jo. It was created in order to honor one of the most influential manga series. To talk about Megalobox, you also have to talk about Ashi no Jo. So it's a little bit of a dual call because you can't have one without the other. Ashi no Jo was one of the most influential mangas. I'm pretty sure it's one of the oldest mangas around that still gets a lot of recognition. But Megalobox is a more futuristic taste on the sport of boxing. Megalobox takes place in the late 21st century of Japan where people either have a citizenship in the administrative area as a city or they live in a slum, the restricted area where they're kind of kicked down the outskirts and they deal with rougher lifestyle. Megaloboxing is a popular sport in the Megalobox universe, similar to boxing, except the boxers fight while wearing metal exoskeletons called gears, which makes their attacks much more lethal. Their narrative focuses on an underground fighter only known by his ring name, Junk Dog, who decides to enter into a boxing competition called Megalonia in order to defeat the champion Yuri. To be quiet and do as you're told, that's the cowardly choice. These are the words of our main character, Jump Dog. Megalobox is an evolution of the sport of boxing that mixes technology with the sport. Despite the use of gears, the young man known as Junk Dog shows brimming potential as a boxer. Unfortunately, Junk Dog lives a very rough life and he isn't able to use his abilities as a boxer to his desire. He is known to set up a lot of fake fights and he throws a lot of matches so his boss, a mob leader, can win some money and overall he does this just so he can live at the end of the day. However, this all changes when the Megalobox champion Yuri enters his shabby ring under the guise of just another challenger. Taken out in a single round, Junk Dog is left with a challenge. If you're serious about fighting me again, then fight your way up to me and my ring. Filled with overwhelming excitement and backed by the criminal syndicate responsible for his throne matches, Junk Dog enters Megalonia, a world-spanning tournament that will decide the strongest Megaloboxer of them all. Thanks to the criminal syndicate, they give him a new alias named Joe due to Ashida no Joe. He uses this new identity to become a boxer in Megalobox and he begins to climb up the bottom of the ranks fighting any ranked fighter he can. The biggest surprise is that he is not using any gears. This man is going to use solely his skill as a boxer so he can propel himself in Megalonia and he can challenge champion Yuri. Obviously that is an amazing feat in itself but with only three months left to qualify, Joe must face off against opponents the likes of which he has never fought in order to meet the challenge of his rival. If you're interested in boxing, tournament style, animes, do you want to see some great thrilling moments, definitely go check out Megalobox. It's overall very thrilling. You're not going to be disappointed by the anime. Definitely go check it out if you love boxing animes like Hachime no Ippo, Ashi no Joe. Go check it out. And for this next one, we're actually introducing a new genre for the sports anime focused around skating. Talk about an anime that absolutely deserved better. The story of Air Gear follows the journey of the MC Iki on his way of achieving the goal of becoming the Sky King, who is acknowledged as the most skilled storm rider in the world. The story begins when our main character Iki finds a pair of air tricks, also known as ATs. ATs are futuristic inline skates, but a group of delinquents known as Storm Riders use their ATs in different ways. They utilize them underground in competitive skate battles known as Park Wars. And in these battles, teams take valuable AT parts, money, their team's emblem, or even their territories in some cases. And if a team loses their emblem, they're forced to completely disband. These conditions produce some very tense battles as the stakes are incredibly high. In order to reach his goal of becoming the Sky King, Iki creates his own gang so he can participate in these parts wars. He's joined alongside a very colorful and unique cast that support him on his rise towards the sky. One thing to note before going into this anime is that unfortunately, the series was discontinued and ended at about 25 episodes. There are also three OVAs that capture some pretty pivotal matchups from the manga that are definitely worth the watch if you choose to watch this. Overall, Air Gear is a very special anime that is truly in a league of its own. When I say this, there is nothing out there like Air Gear. There's truly no other anime like Air Gear. It's unfortunate that they didn't get the spotlight they deserve. The plot is wonderful. The imagination in this concept is limitless. Like the sky is the limit with the show. Now, if what we had to say interests you, definitely consider giving Air Gear a watch. And of course, if you get hooked, definitely try to read the manga. There are so many amazing moments. And do not forget, they do have three OVAs as well. If you want to watch some of those moments. With that, those are our picks for some more iconic sports anime. A lot of these were a little bit older. They just deserve more recognition since they're a little bit older. 
I think they should be brought back up and be talked about more. Yeah, every pick on this list is definitely very epic in its own way with its own story to tell. And as you can see, there's a good variety of different sports genres with each pick. You're never going to get bored because there's just so much variety and it should definitely keep you entertained for a while if you do go ahead and watch some of the picks that we picked for this list. With that, thank you for sticking to the end. If there's any sports anime that you think we should talk about, please let us know in the comments and please let us know what your favorite sports anime from this video was. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, you can't forget our Akikio community discord and a link to that discord will be in the description of this video. Thank you for sticking to the end. It's Tev. And it's Lotus. Peace. Catch you the next one.